What's up y'all, Ryan here again, and it's been a while since I've done a guitar tone of the week, but this week I wanted to try something a little bit different because there was a new guitar amplifier released by STL Tones, uh, specifically in the STL Tones amp hub, and this one is going to be the Meridian. Now this is gonna be based on the PB3120, which I've never played through a real one of these amps, but after just jamming on this one for a little bit, I can tell you it really does sound sick. Uh, surprise, surprise, the guitar that I'm using today is gonna be my GOC Guitars Illumina Plus, and this one is using my custom ultraviolet pickups from Aurora Tone pickups. And yeah, I don't know if I wanna spend a ton of time talking today but we're gonna go through some tone tests here the first tone test that you're going to hear is going to be me just jamming through the 3120 and the STL tone stock impulse response section and then with most of the amp settings set to noon I did bring down the mids a little bit just because I thought it was a little bit too mid forward and I know it's kind of weird for me to say because I love mids in my guitar tones but yeah I did find that it sounded better without all of those mids in it and you'll notice I have it up on screen here now but I really didn't change anything else in there I do have an overdrive pedal it's a max on OD 808 in front of it and that's pretty traditional settings that I've got set up on that. And I've used that same bass line for both of the tones. The second tone that you'll hear me using is going to be using the Primary Cab's Heartless Audio Impulse Responses that are available on my website right now. Another shameless plug here, but they do sound sick and you'll be able to hear the difference back and forth. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and just hear some heavy riffs with the new STL Tones Meridian 31. <laughs> So you can already hear the clarity there with the open chords, it sounds pretty great. All right, so now we're gonna be listening to the same amp, the same settings, but through my cabinet impulse responses instead, just because I've been jamming through these so much and I love the way that they sound. Specifically, I'm gonna be using the Fender and the Marshall cabs here, um, and they're kind of skewed towards the Fender. Not a ton, so it's about a 70-30 split here, but it's enough to make it sound the way that I want it to sound. I did turn off the EQ section here, so I have no EQ going on either of these tones that you've been hearing today. And just so you can see here as well, I maybe have the mids brought down a little bit more on this one, like maybe like 0.5 decibels uh, more. It, it's really negligible, but it made a little bit of a difference for me. And again, if we go into the different sections here, the stomp box settings are exactly the same on the Maxon OD-808. Cabinet section's completely turned off and no effects on here as well. So let's go ahead and take a listen to how that sounds now. <laughs> I'm not going to 
So I really think that that uh, fret three, so this chord, I really think that that one might be a sweet spot for this amp and cab combination. Just because if you listen to the palm mutes that I'm about to do here, you'll notice that it really sounds, I don't know, I don't want to say chewy because that's weird to explain it that way, but it really kind of sounds chewy, so. Whereas if I switch it back to the other cabinets, So that's the stock STL Tones cabinets and here's my primary cabs again. There's just something about the resonant frequencies that are happening right there that are just extremely pleasing to me. And I hope that they come out that way over headphones or your phone speakers or whatever it is that you're listening on right now because they really sound good to me like that. And again, I'm not just doing a shameless plug here. I'm all about testing out different impulse responses and finding the ones that I like. I still use a ton of different ones. I don't just use the ones that you're hearing right now. I use a ton from different brands. Just lately, these ones are really resonating with me and they're just making my tone chasing a little bit easier and that's always a huge plus for me. <laughs> That's all I've got for y'all today for the Guitar Tone of the Week. And again, this was the new STL Tones Meridian. And you now heard it through their own stock inbuilt impulse responses, but also how it could sound with a great aftermarket impulse response, which again, is available down in the description below. If y'all have any specific amp sims or plugins that you'd like me to test on Guitar Tone of the Week in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments here and I'd be glad to check them out as long as they don't cost a million dollars, obviously. So yeah, let me know. I'd like to check out some maybe that I haven't thought of before. So until then, peace out, y'all.